Welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Samasa in Paninian Grammar 2. This is the second course on the Samasa. Remember, this is not an advanced course on Samasa in Paninian Grammar. But this is the remaining part of the Samasa in Paninian grammar. We begin our lecture with the recitation of the Mangala Charana, which is Vishvesham Satchidanandam Vandeham Yokhilan Jagat. Chari karti bari bharti sanjari harti lilaya Vishvesham satchidanandam vandeham yokhilan jagat Chari karti bari bharti sanjari harti lilaya In this course Some part of the first course will be repeated. In the first course, we dealt with the Tatpurusha Samasa in detail and also the theory of compounding in some detail. In this course, we will revisit the theory of compounding and we shall study in detail the remaining three types of samasas in Sanskrit, Dvandva, Bahuvrihi and Avyayi Bhava. So the first question that we revisit is, what is a samasa? What is a samasa? And the answer is, samasa is a compound. Compound made up of two or more than two elements. These two elements are such that each one of them has generally an independent distribution. Generally. As we have already seen, in case of Tatpurusha Samasa, there is a type of Tatpurusha where one of the elements does not have an independent distribution. Therefore, generally, the two elements have independent distribution. So, the example sentence is Ramaha Lakshmanascha Gachataha. In this sentence, Ramaha and Lakshmanascha are the words which are marked in red. They have some significance. The sentence means Ram and Lakshmana are going or go. And the compound formed is Rama Lakshmanau Gachataha. Rama Lakshmanau Gachataha, conveying the same meaning. Let us study these once again. Ramaha. Lakshmanascha Gachataha. Here there is no samasa. Each word is appearing 
independent of each other. Here there are four separate words separated by spaces joined by the phenomenon called Sandhi and we have a separate course on Sandhi in Paninian grammar. So these four words are Ramaha, Lakshmanaha, Ch and Gachataha. So Lakshmanaha and Ch, there is a Sandhi and the output is Lakshmanascha. Ch. Now if we look at the right hand side, we see Rama Lakshmana Gachataha. Here there is Samasa. Two words are appearing together as one unit and therefore there is no space in between them and they are Rama and Lakshmana. So Rama Lakshmana is written together. Rama Lakshmana has got one case ending. In Ramaha and Lakshmanaha, each word had its own case ending. There were two case endings. Whereas in Rama Lakshmana, there is only one. So these two words are appearing together as one unit. This is what is a compound. And there are only two words in this particular sentence, Rama Lakshmanau Gachataha. They are separated from each other by a space. So in the sentence on the left hand side, there were four words and in comparison on the right hand side, there are only two words. So, Ramaha, Lakshmanascha, these three words come together. There is one word which disappears and Ramaha and Lakshmanaha, they get compounded and form one unit which is Rama Lakshmanau. This is compound. This is Samasa. Similarly, we have a sentence Dine Dine Suryaha Udeti Dine Dine Suryaha Udeti Sun rises every day. In this sentence, on the left hand side, there is no samasa. Each word is appearing independent of each other. And here there are four separate words separated by spaces joined by sandhi. So dine, dine, suryaha and udeti. These are the four separate words separated by spaces. Suryaha and Udeti have got a Sandhi which is in the form of the deletion of the case ending after Surya and therefore we have only Surya Udeti. So Dine Dine Surya Udeti has got four sentences, has got four words and there is no samasa. Now if we look at the right hand side, we see that Pratidinam Suryaha Udeti. Here there is samasa. 
two words are appearing together as one unit, namely prati and dinam. And then overall, there are three words in the sentence separated from each other by a space and the same sandhi also occurs over here. So, dine dine and pratidinam. This is an example of the avyayi bhava samasa. The previous example, Ramalakshmanau, was that of a dvandva samasa. Now, let us take another example. On the left hand side we have Yasya Chitraha Gavaha Sagopalo Gachati Yasya Chitraha Gavaha Sagopalo Gachati Now here there is no Samasa. Each word is appearing independent of each other. There are six separate words separated by spaces and joined by Sandhi. Yasya, Chitraha, Gavaha, Saha, Gopalaha and Gachati. These are those six words. So, that cowherd is going or goes who has variegated colored cows. That is the meaning of this sentence. Yasya chitraha gavaha sagopalo gachati. Now, there is sandhi that has taken place between gopalaha and gachati and saha and gopalaha. The Sandhi is not done in Chitraha and Gavaha for the specific purpose which is clear when we look at the right hand side on the slide. The sentence on the right hand side is Chitragur Gopalo Gachati. Now we notice that here there is Samasa. Three words are four words are appearing together as one unit. Yasya, Chitraha, Gavaha, Saha. And in the sentence we have three words which are separated from each other by a space and also joined by the Sandhi. So, Chitragur, Gopalaha and Gachati. So, there is a Sandhi between Gopalaha and Gachati. This is an example of the Bahuvrihi Samasa, Bahuvrihi compound. This is what is a Samasa. There is a sentence in which there is no samasa and there are multiple number of words and the same words are merged together, they appear together showing various features. For example, yasya chitraha gavaha. There are these words having independent vibhaktis and the word chitragur has got only one Vibhakti. Yasya Chitraha Gavaha are the three words which are separated by spaces, whereas Chitragu, this is not separated by spaces. Chitra and Gu, they are joined together. This is what is a Samasa. These are some of the features of the Samasa. 
and in this particular course we shall be focusing on these three types of samasas avyayi bhava bahuvrihi and dvandva in the first course we studied in detail the tatpurusha samasa and here we study the remaining 3 mentioned just now samasa or compounding is a very productive feature of languages here are some examples first let us look at the vedic language in which we have compounds like indragani mitra varunau agni shomau etc these are all devata dvandva samasas whereas in the classical language we have vagartha pratyutpanna mati parapratyaya neya buddhi as well as jaya pratigrahita gandha malya now if you see the number of constituents in the classical language seems to be increasing with each example in vagartha we have only two constituents in pratyutpanna mati we have three in para pratyaya neya buddhi we have four in jaya pratigrahita gandhamalya we have five and then it can keep on increasing vagartha is an example of dvandva samasa and the remaining ones are the examples of bahuvrihi samasas so we have samasas used profusely in the classical sanskrit language and we also see that they are used in vedic language in the classical language the samasas are used profusely and here are some examples gajanana ekadanta lambodara these are the names of shri ganesha and these are the bahurihi compounds gajanana ekadanta and lambodara anurupa pratidina and yathashakti these are the three examples of avyayi bhava samasa anurupa pratidina and yathashakti again we have examples of bahuvrihi samasa on the right hand side nilakantha chakrapani shulapani mushaka vahana garuda vahana these are bahuvrihi samasas yathamati is once again an avyayi bhava samasa so we see that avyayi bhav bahuvrihi and dvandva all these three samasas are used by the speakers of sanskrit again and again and these samasas have in fact become 
part of the common vocabulary not just of sanskrit but also of modern indian languages the samasas are used not just in sanskrit and other related indian languages but they are also used in several languages and here we are taking only two examples english and german flat foot tender foot white collar high bro half wit these are the examples of the bahuvrihi samasa in english schwarzkopf hartnikik rotschopf schwarzkittel these are the examples of bahuvrihi samasa in german and there are many examples of this kind in various other languages as well what we aim to say over here is that samasa is a very productive process which is prevalent in many languages of today and therefore this particular process this particular phenomenon needs to be studied the oldest grammar known to mankind namely paninian grammar had developed a theory related to the formation of samasa it is very important to therefore also study this particular aspect of paninian grammar related to the samasa and this is what we did in the first course on samasa and this is what we shall be doing in this second course on samasa in paninian grammar apart from the samasas we also note that modern languages have something called multi word expressions for example kick the bucket let the cat out of the bag or sweep under the rug look up break up in short by and large telephone box car park san francisco indian institute of technology these are the examples in english and in hindi we have le lena de dena gir padna kaam karna dimag khana and in marathi we have deun takne sahan karne vaat lagne परत जाणे दीज आर कन्सिडर्ड टू बी द एक्झाम्पल्स ऑफ मल्टीवर्ड एक्सप्रेशन्स अँड दे आर एक्सप्लेन्ड थिअरेटिकली अँड आर प्रोसेस्ड युझिंग द थिअरी डेव्हलप्ड अराउंड द मल्टीवर्ड expressions these multiword expressions come very close to the process of compounding the important questions that we ask and revisit are how do these words get formed how do the compounds get formed 
is there a rule based system that can explain these phenomena for example in the dvandva samasa ramaha lakshmanascha where the three words in the sentence and in the compound only rama and lakshmana figure in dine dine was the expression in a sentence and the compound form is pratidinam where does this prati come from yasya chitraha gavah this was the expression in the sentence and the compound form is chitragu where does the word yasya go is there a rule based system that can explain these and several other phenomena the next question is how do speakers of respective language comprehend them how do the speakers recognize that a particular multi word expression means a particular something that kick the bucket doesn't mean actually kicking the bucket but it means to die so how do speakers of respective language comprehend these meanings do the speakers of the respective languages create such new words also how do these phenomena get treated in natural language processing these are very important questions to be asked and the most important question is what has paninian grammar got to offer in this particular regard the possible answer is the following theoretical explanation in the form of structure of the components compositionality classification of such expressions interrelation of such words with other words in the sentence irregularities in the form and the meaning of such expressions there are certain views mentioned in the panini paninian grammar and also the paninian grammatical tradition which explain these points theoretically there is also a philosophical explanation provided by the paninian grammatical tradition in the form of one undivided word denoting one undivided meaning so we with the concept of compositionality we say that there are two constituents whose meanings are merged by the speaker and consequently the words are also merged but this is just a possible theoretical explanation what actually happens in the linguistic communication is that a speaker uses one undivided word and that one undivided word denotes one undivided meaning that is the explanation also provided by the paninian grammatical tradition that becomes extremely important and also from the formal treatment the treatment related to the 
form of the word, the possible changes that the form undergoes as treated in Paninian grammar may provide some insights in dealing with some problems mentioned earlier. It is not claimed that Paninian grammar has answers to all the questions mentioned earlier, but there may be some insights that one can get from the study of compounds or samasas in Paninian grammar. We shall refer to these texts when we study Avyayi Bhava, Bahubrihi and Dvandva Samasas, Ashtadhyayi, the core of Paninian grammar, Samarthanhika from the great Vyakarana Mahabhashya written by Patanjali, Vakyabadiya written by Bhartrahari, Kashika Vritti written by Jayaditya and Vamana, and the Samasa Prakarana from the Vayakarana Siddhanta Kaumudi. We shall be referring to these texts. There are translations of Ashtadhyayi and Vayakarana Siddhanta Kaumudi done by S.C. Vasu which are available online. And there are translations of these other texts as well available. We shall be using these original sources. We shall be citing them in our study of these remaining three samasas. Thank you very much.